Dan, was there anything the judge said yesterday that you think sets a precedent for the larger federal antitrust lawsuit that these live golfers are filing? You know, I really think it's to this question of money. An antitrust lawsuit seeks to kind of pay people back for, for financial harms, right? But at the end of the day, we, you don't need to be a lawyer, Ben, to understand this. Look at just the reported money. And even a guy like Tiger Woods is being offered $700 million to join the live tour. Yeah. They have an endless pool of money. So the judge kept harping. And even when she wasn't saying it out loud and green, she was nodding her head at, at the PGA Tour's arguments that these golfers are just making so much money by moving over. There was a comment uh, from one of the PGA lawyers that some of this money, right, these $100 million giant uh, numbers that are being reported, some of that is reported money that they would have otherwise have made during their PGA Tour careers. So if you're saying, hey, I've lost money by moving over to the Live Tour, and the PGA submits evidence that, hey, actually, that $100 million that Cam Smith just got, part of that factors in money that he can no longer make on the PGA Tour. It's kind of taking uh, you know, the Live Lawyer's legs out from under them. I think it's a strong point, and the judge seemed to agree with it.